And I do believe that a lot of women who voted for Trump in 2016 will vote for Kamala this time around. So if upon everything this guy has done, <laughs> he becomes president, you can't say anything to him. Gidinski! Um, it's about, it's about Gid. So look, guys, here's the thing. It's now, it's now never. Now, I'm saying right now that we may not actually get the results tonight. We may not get the results tonight. But if we do get a results tonight, guys, tonight's vibes are going to happen. So guys, here's the thing. If you go via the internet, Trump wins in a landslide. If the internet dictated what will happen in the results, Trump would lubricate Kamala Harris. He would win in a landslide. Because whether it's YouTube videos, YouTube views, podcasts, comments, whether it's Reddit, whether it's Instagram, whether it's Facebook, whether it's Twitter, most places you go online, it is heavily Trump 2024. Trump 2024. Trump wins. Trump wins. Trump wins. Trump wins. It is heavily favored for Trump. So... There will not even be anything to discuss. If the internet did dictated presidency, it's a, this is an easy debate for Trump. But in the world we live in, the internet doesn't dictate anything. It is just a tiny, inny, mini microcosm. And now look, people would say, oh, wait, 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 why are you talking about American politics? First off, I can talk about whenever the heck I want, so I don't, I, don't, I don't give a damn. I'll talk about what I want, when I want, wherever I want. First thing. Second thing, as I said in my previous video, this isn't about America, this is about the world. Whoever is president affects the world. I think there was one news headline that said that this could be one of the most consequential um, elections in history. Because here's the thing. If Kamala is president, it's Biden again. It's She will just do what Biden does. And okay. It's just whatever the last phase of Biden. And that may be good or bad for whoever you are as an individual. So as an, so for me, as an individual, dance whatever the policies were, if you were anti-Biden, oh, it'll be bad for you because you don't do what Biden is. If you were happy under Biden, cool. Kamala will not be radically different from, from Biden. If he tweaks not radically different, what will be seismic is if Trump wins. If Trump pulls this off, which I don't think he will, but if he pulls this off, he's going to be 10 times worse. Based on the felony charge, the media against him, everyone against him, and even guys like me who feel, ain't no way this guy's going to win. A guy who pretty much promoted and incited a damn insurrection on Capitol Hill. Ain't no way he's going to be. So if upon everything this guy has done, <laughs> he becomes president, you can't say anything to him. And these four years under Trump, you think 2016 to 2020 was, was, was crazy. The next four years could be the most insane four years anybody has ever seen. Because trust me, Trump will go insane. Because he'll be like, no, no, I'm out for revenge. And he, he is coming after everybody. <laughs> a, a Trump, this Trump term, if he wins this, could be one of the most explosive terms we've ever seen in any presidency ever. So... That's why, look, um, I, so this, so I was just thinking about it, even when I was doing the video, think about it. So, 2016, my notion was, ah, this guy, he's too unhinged, and I do feel like if a woman, specifically a white woman, who are a large population, they're going to vote for Hillary Clinton. And then when I watched a program about the hatred white women had for Hillary, I was like, this looks dicey. White women will decide this, this vote. Because, again, it's simple logic and math. Most voters are white. And, I, and, and women outnumber men. Especially in America, I believe so. And even if they don't, it's, very, it's, it's, it's maybe marginal more. And I do feel that more women specifically, so because it's a combination of things. And I told you, it's, it's specifically a white woman. That's because, again, when you, when you just do the, the, the numbers, black woman, Latino woman, Asian woman, 
kind of swing the votes that much. And even for you know, white men, that's, that's a lot as well, but I really feel that's key demographic is white women. And I do feel that for white women, they'll be like, look, okay, she's not white. But reproductive rights, Roe versus Wade, and lessons learned from 2016. And I do believe that a lot of women who voted for Trump in 2016 will vote for Kamala this time around. Because remember, you didn't know what he was going to do. So when they saw what he did, it was like, yeah, okay, nah. <laughs> nah, bro. And this is just this is just my wild prediction. I just feel that um, because again, because even me and my brother were actually even discuss it because my brother thinks Trump is gonna win. Because his notion was th that the um insurrection is so far behind, it's not fresh in people's memory. But my argument is even if it's so far behind, I think what he did was so crazy. I'm also mad that, yes, he will get votes. I still feel similar to Biden that we can't let this guy be in charge again is going to be prevalent in this election. And people going in is that, okay, I'm not really fired up by Kamala, really. She's not really getting me to vote the way that Clinton got people to vote, the way that Obama got people to vote. But Trump is so unhinged and could be so dangerous Bro, now, nah. heck, UK politician William Hake, who's used to be the Conservative Party leader, he put out a tweet saying that, like, Trump must lose. That a Trump presidency could be seriously dangerous. So, um, because it looks, it's, a, it's a complicated one because it's like, as I said again, domestically, it's down to you. So some people will feel like, if okay, Trump's policies help me. Kamala's policies help me, and that's different. So that's domestically, but then globally... That's different because you have to understand that there is a domestic effect and there's a global effect. The global effect affects guys like me. Because I, because la last I checked, I live on planet Earth. And America is the number one global power. And Trump's actions, whether it's with Israel, Gaza, whether it's with Ukraine and Russia, whether it's with North Korea, whether it's with China, could have a domino effects on the rest of the world. So look, my prediction, and I could be wrong, is I think it's going to be a very close, close, close election. It's, I did, there will not be a landslide. I think it'll be very close. And I believe, so after the whole assassination, I was like, it's over. Like, it's it's done. Like, it's done. Like, it's done. Like, he survived an assassination attempt. It's, it's, it's done. Then so much happened since then. Because, see, the whole thing about the assassination attempt is, and I said this on the live, if that happened, like, 20 years ago, pre-social media, oh, it's over. The reason of why it's happening in the social media era is a lot of people are on social media. A lot of people do use internet. People are on TikTok, they're on YouTube. So when you're on TikTok, you're on YouTube, you're scrolling through Facebook, what are you seeing? Was it real? Was it not real? Was it a, a hoax? Why is he milking this? And all these conspiracy theories. And the regular person can be very easily led by the conspiracy theory. We saw it through COVID. So because of the social media era, I think that um, survival of an assassination attempt will not hit as hard as, let's say, it did for um, Reagan. And that's just coupled with, I just feel that um, it's the anti-Trump thing of like, no, this guy's too no, 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 unhinged. He's too unhinged. Like, those four years, no. Nah. Guys, guy, guy wilded out, bro. He wilded out too, too crazy. And I think that fear of Trump is going to push them through. So I feel it's going to be close, but I feel Kamala's going to get the W. I think she she edges this and, and just about gets the W. So, yeah, Kamala H, Kamala's president's but I'll say this again. If Trump does this and somehow achieves joy and wins his presidency, we will have an emergency hangout and... Lord help us all. Oh, remember guys, sub, sub, subscribe, hit that subscription button over there. Wait, hold us over there. And um, join us for our live reaction. The election was, it's gonna get real. Live reaction tonight's next one. Gets real. One love, one love, one love.